Well, welcome back to another news update on the channel. Now, today we're going to be talking about the new Nintendo Switch Pro. Now, this is a thing we've been hearing about for a very, very long time, but a data miner, and I believe I'm saying this right, Skires M, I don't know if I'm saying that name right, I'll have this thing linked down below if you want to go and have a read of this data mine. Um, but Skires M, um, who is a credible uh, data miner, has data mined some stuff within the Switch's firmware, I believe, uh, about a new Nintendo Switch model with the code name Aula, I believe I'm saying that right. Uh, anyway, he gave his whole opinion on uh, Reset Error. Uh, I believe I'm saying that right as well, uh, and uh, let's take a look. Alright, so he starts off by saying Nintendo actually is working on the new model with upgraded display stuff and has been working on this for about one and a half to two years. I personally believe that it's a 4K given the signs I'm seeing in the firmware, but it's not confirmed yet and I could be wrong. The new hardware is project named Ola and it's using the Markio SoC. I believe I'm saying that right, I don't know. Uh, there's a bunch of references to it in the code. Atmosphere supports the new display already in theory. Uh, the tablet itself definitely has an upgraded display. I don't know if it's 4K. This could potentially even be 1080p. I mean, the Switch itself is only 720p, so it could be 1080p on its upgraded display if this is real. Uh, Ola also has the firmware support uh, for the Realtek chip, uh, which advertises itself as a 4K Ultra Media uh, SoC. Um, hence, I believe it's 4K. That chip might be inside a new dock and not actually inside the tablet. There's no way to tell from the firmware code yet. So basically what this means is um, there's some firmware, uh, maybe even on the base switch we have now. I don't really know where this firmware is coming from, uh, but a data miner was, you know, data mine some firmware and it references a 4K chip being used in a new hardware by Nintendo project named Ola. He then goes on to say that uh, Ola explicitly supports the handheld mode. It's not docked only, that's Calico. Now that's apparently another code name, uh, which seems to be an internal only, never releasing since Calico has no game slot game card slot or no battery. Now, Calico, it's not really clear what this is. This could be another code name for another Nintendo Switch console, which could be a docked only console, similar to something like, I don't know, the PlayStation TV or that sort of thing. Um, you know, many people are thinking that we're going to see a Switch um, that is docked only, you know, hence it has no battery and hence it has no game card slot. Maybe a digital only Switch. Of course, we have seen digital consoles come out this year uh, with, of course, the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition and also the Xbox Series X. Uh, he goes on to say that you can check the boot sim module um, display code if you're curious. I don't really know what that means, I'll be honest. Uh, the new display doesn't support uh, power management. It uh, has its own vendor Pacific um, because I had to reverse engineer an improvement about a month or two ago. I have no idea what that means. Um, I'm not even going to begin to understand what that means, but if you know what it means, then there you go. Um, Morocco, which I believe is a firmware, uh, substantially better cooling and battery life, which of course, you know, we have seen that with the Switch. Many people have been complaining about the battery life. Of course, now with the new model, people aren't complaining that much, but with the older models especially, uh, and better cooling. I remember back in the day, 2017, 2018, some Switches were actually being bent within their docks. Uh, he then goes on to say, my best guess, pure speculation, no firmware indication in this case, is that they, if they need extra performance, they'll push it to a higher clock rate across the board. Of course, we have seen that with the Switch's boost mode, which is used in loading screens in games like Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. And then after this, the data miner also says, but yeah, I speculate that the games will be DSi enhanced, uh, similar to that, or they'll be benefited like the PS4 Pro was working on the PS4. Uh, I believe this, um, you know, I would also say that that's my opinion as well. Uh, I think maybe third party games might only be on the Pro if it comes out. Uh, for example, you know, Doom Eternal's only just running on the Switch. The Witcher was only just running on the Switch. I feel like some third parties might just say we're only making, you know, games for this better Switch, this you know, Switch Pro, uh, but I feel like Nintendo are going to mainly support, with their first party efforts, uh, I believe just they'll do it all just for every single Switch. Uh, of course we saw that with the 3DS, with the new 3DS and the regular 3DS, most first party games run on everything, of course you know we had Xenoblade, uh, I, I think you know that was only on the Switch, or the 3DS, uh, the new 3DS, so you know I think first party they're going to do that, you know, they're just going to give the games updates so they will be better on the Switch Pro, but will be supported across the board. I don't know if third parties will follow the same idea, though. Wherever they can, they probably will. It's obviously, because, you know, you know, devs, devs the way they want their game to run on the most amount of hardware possible so they can get the most amount of sales, but it might not be possible that certain games can run on the base Switch. Of course, we have seen many games struggle to come to Switch. For example, The Outer Worlds doesn't run great, and that game only literally just came to Switch and doesn't run very, very well. But, uh, yeah, the leaker also says uh, that they worked on previous discussions with 
Hexies. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The upgraded tablet display is an OLED screen, which I believe is better than what's on the current Switch. Probably not a higher resolution on the tablet itself, so I guess the 4K chip is on a new dock. That'd be interesting. Um, you know, maybe if we have this Switch Pro that's 1080p, and then you put it into a dock, and then it, you know, I don't know, it's sort of gives it more power as soon as it goes into this dock, and you know, makes it more powerful once it's in the dock. That'd be kind of interesting, and you know, maybe they'll even make a dock for the base switch that you could dock into it and make it more powerful. I don't know. Um, it's saying the, the, van the vanilla switch probably won't. I guess that means the launch switch uh, won't support that new dock, if it is a new dock. Um, Aula has the GPIO that the red box doesn't. Um, so the red box units won't support the new thing either. Basically, what I think that they're saying here is the base launch switch that came out, the regular box switch that came out 2017 to 2019, won't be supported. And also the red box units with the better battery won't be supported either. Now, this is a lot of information and a lot of this is speculation. None of this is confirmed, uh, but it has been apparently data mined from the Switch's firmware. Now, um, what do I think this means? I think this means that maybe if this is true, and we don't know if this is true or not, uh, if this is true, uh, then it means that Nintendo are prepping behind the scenes with the Switch's firmware, with the operating system on the Switch, they're prepping for the next um, half generation step for the Switch, they're preparing for a Switch Pro, and they're getting the software, uh, the firmware on the Switch ready for that. Uh, and this is the first sign of them really doing that and really taking advantage of that. Now, we don't know what that means, we don't know how true this is, um, and it probably means that maybe we're getting a Switch Pro going into maybe this year or even next year, Many places are saying that production is starting soon. I don't know. There's lots of rumours going on at the minute. Uh, but the data mine has revealed a lot of information, including that about that 4K uh, chip. Of course, the next-gen consoles are out now. They've only just come out. Would it make sense for Nintendo to release a console right now with all the other consoles being released? Probably not. I personally think it might happen next year or the year after. Uh, but this, if it, if well, again, if this, if this is true, then Nintendo are starting to prep for the Switch Pro, which is interesting. Again, this could be false. Uh, takes with a pinch of salt. This is not a confirmation that the Switch Pro is coming tomorrow and we're going to get an announcement. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, if this is true, we are seeing the first signs of... Um, I don't want to say the next gen. I want to say the next step. Uh, of course, you know, we had the 3DS that came out in 2011 and then the new 3DS that came out in 2015. So, you know, that time there is roughly about the same from the regular Switch to the Switch Pro or the new Switch, whatever they want to call it. So we could realistically see an announcement sometime this year, maybe going into next. But yeah, uh, if this is true, it means that Nintendo are prepping for it. If it's not true, then we have still got the base Switch. You know, Nintendo might even skip the, you know, doing a uh, another Switch. They might just go for the route uh, of doing a brand new console. You know, we are going into the Switch's, what, fourth year now. Next year it'll be its fifth. That could potentially be its last year and we could potentially see a new console by Nintendo. I personally think they'll do the Switch Pro. They said they want the Switch to be around for a very, very long time. So I think the Switch Pro is on the cards. Um, but you don't know. We don't know what they're going to do. Uh, they could do something similar to Apple. I know a lot of people have been speaking about that recently. Uh, many people think that they could just see uh, loads of Switch updates every couple of years. Of course, we've seen the regular Switch, the Switch Lite, maybe now Switch Pro. And they just keep updating the Switch like iPhone, uh, like Android, you know, like smartphones do. Uh, and do it every couple of years. Not these huge generation steps because, you know... How far can they really go with the technology? You know, Nintendo's games will run on the base Switch, but third-party, you know, stuff won't. I don't know. There's a lot of uh, content in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that a Nintendo Switch Pro is coming next year? Do you think it's coming this year? Do you think this is legit? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you in another news update. All right, cheers for watching, everyone.